Hi guys, uh, George Zanley here. Um, so today I'm talking about steam again, a topic that I haven't talked about in a while. Uh, I uh, made a video, I think about eight or nine months ago, um, everything you need to know to get started with steam, something like that. It's about 47 minutes long, I wrote a big document to accompany it, uh, and for some reason it's seen a, a huge resurgence in interest. It's um, when I first released it, I think it barely got a few hundred views, and in the last couple months, uh, it's gotten up, I think it's almost to 20,000 views now, and I've gotten a lot of comments on the video, uh, I've gotten a lot of emails from people taking me up on my offer to uh, review your introduction post, and, uh, you know, with uh, in order to help you, um, you know, get off to the best start possible on Steam. Uh, now, first off, I just want to say, uh, back then I was a very excited about Steam, these days not so much. I think the the framework behind Steam, the, the basic concept, it, it's still quite innovative. Um, I'm not very happy with the fact that the, uh, the, the, the people, the company, or whoever they are that got it started kind of seem to be absent, or at the time that I left, uh, for, uh, I think it was October, seemed to be quite absent uh, in the community. Um, I think that if you're going to start a new community, you there needs to be some direction. Um, and I, at the time, I felt Steam was very directionless. I also felt that I, I enjoy discussing controversial topics and strong opinions. Uh, I enjoy giving my opinion and receiving other people's opinions because it's how you get to the truth, in my opinion. And um, I just felt like every time I put something that attempted to be meaningful out there, I either got silence or I got like a dozen people saying, yeah, that was great, you know, and it was just like a complete vanilla saccharine uh, comment because they're just trying to get my upvote, which is not even worth that much. Um, and so, you know, it just turned into this big popularity contest and, you know, I already went to high school. But anyway, the point of this video is as a uh, to give some tips on uh, int successful introductory posts. Now, first off, something that I've seen a lot in the posts that people have sent me, the drafts that people have sent me so far, is um, everybody's tuned to WIIFM. I forget who. Maybe it was Gary, Gary Vaynerchuk. I don't know who I heard that from. I thought it was very, very clever. WIIFM. What's in it for me? Uh, we're all tuned to this because we're human beings, we work on ego, uh, sadly. Although, you know, I think meditation is a great way to work on that. But um, all of these introductory posts were all about what's in it for me. And it was all about me, 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 me. So, uh, you guys were saying, you know, you're from here, you like this, you do that on the weekends. Um, I, I honestly don't care, and I don't think anybody else does. The question you need to answer in your introductory post is, what's in this for other people? Okay, not what's in it for you, not the big payout you're hoping for on your introduction post. Uh, it's what's in it for other people. In other words, what are you doing for other people? What so problem are you going to solve with your Steam it posts for other people? What, um, what are you going to teach other people? What are you going to help other people do? Uh, what are you going to do for other people? Think about the most successful uh, personalities out there in independent personalities out there in media content, things like that. Guys like Vaynerchuk, even though I don't like him that much. Um, the guy who wrote the four hour work week. Um, what, Tony Robbins. So, all of these guys, whether you like them or not, they promise to improve you. Okay, so they're promising something. Or uh, I just found a new uh, YouTube channel, uh, Lost LeBlanc, that I like. And what does he do for me? It's an uplifting experience to see his travels. Um, there's another YouTube channel I like, uh, Expert Thief, Kevin LeSean. What does that channel do for me? It entertains me. It's very entertaining. I love that guy's energy. Uh, when I buy a book, I recently bought a book, The Emotional Craft of Writing. Uh, what does it do for me? It promises to make me a better writer. 
I go to the supermarket. There's a particular brand of uh, brownies that I like. Why do I buy them? Because they make me feel good, taste good, they're nice, and comforting. Okay, so your Steam channel is a product like any other or a service. Uh, what are you doing for people? Okay, this is a hard question. Um, this is a challenging question, but it's the basis of any business. You go into any store, and uh, let's say it's a clothing store. You go in there, and your immediate question is, do they have anything I like? Are these people going to attend to me? Are they going to find me some clothes that I like at a price that I feel is reasonable? Fits my budget, you know? And if you go in there, and they're just, the girl is just blabbing on about herself, well, I mean, that kind of defeats the purpose. That's, uh, you know. So anyway, you get the point. All right? Change the channel. Turn it from what WIIFM to what's in it for other people. Anyway, if you found this useful, if you found my original video useful, if you would like me to make a whole series of videos about how to, uh, you know, because what are the next steps? Next step is to find that particular thing, that particular topic or service or whatever that you find interesting and that is also uh, going to render a service to other people. It's going to be interesting to other people. Uh, and then there's the whole process of uh, designing, for example, an editorial calendar around that, a publication schedule, um, how to write effectively, how to produce media effectively. And, you know, what I always run into is you, at some point you hit a wall. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a question of mindset at that point. And so there's, there's, there are all kinds of mindset issues. So if you uh, enjoyed this video, I made this video because I, I've gotten so many responses to the previous video. If you enjoyed this video, uh, you know, vote it up or leave me a comment. Send me an email at me at georgedonley.com. Uh, whatever. You know, um, like, comment, and subscribe. No, don't do that. That's the important thing is the person to person connection. So, you know, just let me know and uh, I can, you can make more videos. So, uh, on these particular topics, you know, not what I have for breakfast, but how to have a better breakfast for you tomorrow and your loved ones. Have a great day.